welcome back to News Geelong as we continue our highlights package. And night two, the final night of the 2012 championships, the V8 Dirt Modifieds, where 25 champion Mark Robinson took out his second Australian title on a very emotionally charged night. Over again to Gavin White at the Avalon Raceway, place for place. And it's time to saddle up Geelong, cause here we go! The Australian V8 Dirt Modified Championship is underway. Turn one. They safely make it through and Mark Robinson's your leader. Peter Britton quickly into second. One down, 34 to go. It's a marathon of sorts. Ray Claridge in third. Matt Ferry. It's been a mighty weekend for the young man out of New South Wales. Look at David Clark hanging it out right upstairs. Hits by Mick Corelli. Plenty of drive in this circuit. Clark having a look on the inside of Mick Sauer. Robinson, meanwhile, has got a small buffer over Peter Britton. Third is Ray Claridge. Ferry, then Steve Milthorpe. Dave May, Jai Stevenson. Trevor Perry. Mick Sauer, David Clark. Back to Corelli. Here comes Milthorpe, drives through in turn number one. He gets through to position number four. So five down, 30 to run. And you can see now, Robinson is right up on the tail of the first of the back markers, Ryan Collier. And he quickly goes to the top side. Makes it stick in turn number one and two. Peter Britton's coming with him. Ray Claridge losing a little ground back in third. But he's also clear of fourth place, Stephen Milthorpe. Matt Ferry, Dave May. Scott Cannon is off the pace in the 79. That will bring the cautions on. 29 to run with an Australian Championship on the line here at Avalon Raceway and we're back underway. Say it repeatedly, cautions will breed cautions as David Clark throws caution to the wind around the outside in turn number two. That Queensland five is hooked up and he's moving. Goes after Trevor Perry, that's deeper in the field. And Steve Billthorpe looks really balanced. That 19 car in fourth position. He's on the tail of the 95. Jai Stevenson looking to have an outside move on Dave May as Clark hammers the wall of the main straight. I'm sure he didn't want to hit it as hard as he did. As your leader Robinson on the main straight. Britton, he's in hot pursuit. Claridge again with Bill Thorpe shadowing his every move. Then it's Matt Ferry in fifth. Dave May Stevenson as the track continues to widen out. They're bearing down on traffic as they're 10 laps in, 25 to run. Aaron Trotter, infield in the 34 car. Ryan Collier will once again be the first in the sights of Robinson, who supremely confident as... So Morsi, tell me again, this would be playing right into the hands of Mark Robinson. He looks very good in open traffic and seems like every time they get to the back markers, they pull a Collier in the 51 and we're back underway. Green flag waves this field off. Watch for Clark. Jai Stevenson as well. They both are committed to that outside groove. As we work the main straight with Clark on the outside of Perry. It's going to get willing. He's got a long way to come, but he's starting to make it work. He's running the tail of Trevor Perry. Jai Stevenson as well, really hooked up in the 45 car. And again, your leader is Robinson. Maybe eight car lengths clear of your national champion, Peter Britton. He's on the verge of history. Third place is Ray Claridge, who's been very consistent this weekend. Likewise for Steve Milford. It would be another top five result for Milthorpe. The ever consistent Victorian in fourth. Oh, Scott Ellis in the 74 has encountered some problems. So that will bring the cautions on. Three. Well, 
We'll see if we can run this one through for some green flag laps. We saw a couple of great extended runs last night. As Mick Sauer making some ground on the outside. Look at Jai Stevenson. He's hanging it out up there. Oh, almost lost the nose of the 45. David Clark as well in the five car. He's working the top. Matt Ferry. Been demoted is up into fifth is Jai Stevenson. Oh, Trevor Perry. He got a little crossed up that time. Clark, Sauer, Corelli, Bryn Lake in the four. And you can see the small advantage that Mark Robinson has got over the Australian one of Peter Britton. Ray Claridge with Millthorpe right on his tail. Tim Millthorpe. He too looks menacing. Still a little wait until they get into Ryan Collier, the first of the back markers, and they're a long way from Dave May, Bryn Lake, which would be the heavy traffic that we're talking about. They're having a battle of their own, almost half a lap ahead of your race leader. Millthorpe just shadowing Ray Claridge. It's a run on him into turn number one, and again into turn number three. We'll watch Robinson on the outside of Collier. He's been at this point in each and every time. They've pulled a yellow. Clark now on the bottom of Perry. Peter Britton quickly by Ryan Collier also. So Peter Britton, he's shadowing. Boy, they've dropped Ray Claridge off in third place as Millthorpe's right on his tail. It's almost a race in two as Stevenson skates to the infield. Is that his race run? As we've got 14 to run. Look at Peter Britton. He is reeling him in. The Troy race cars, JBR Motorsports Australia 1. As Robinson, got a little clear track now between he and Bryn Lake. As Millthorpe will look to challenge on Ray Claridge for that third position. Millthorpe close enough for that battle for third. Peter Britton, it's still a margin that he can't dissolve. He just can't quite narrow the gap. Claridge in third, Millthorpe from Ferry, Trevor Perry. And David Clark as we've got 10 to run. 10 laps as Bryn Lake goes down a lap. That was a decisive move from Robinson who looks like he stepped up the tempo. Was really aggressive on the inside of Bryn Lake. Here comes Britton. As I say that, Robinson slides through on Corelli. There's nine to run and two lap cars between first and second. That could be a pivotal moment. Claridge in third, Millthorpe in fourth. Matt Ferry, David Clark, Trevor Perry, Mick Sauer. Boy, Collier goes a lap down again. And Britton just off the pace a little in terms of track position. And two cars between himself and first place, Mark Robinson. Robinson doing the job. What a mighty drive it's been. And look at the lead that he's got. Claridge rock solid in third. Steve Millthorpe now with David Clark in fifth. Next time by, there's five to run. Five laps for Mark Robinson. He said earlier he snapped Tim Morse's winning streak. He looked to do the same tonight on Peter Britton. Claridge still third, Millthorpe, David Clark, that's your top five. Gee, there is every bit of the back straight away between first and second. Mark Robinson with three laps to run. Oh, the emotions for the Castro Edge number nine. Ray Claridge in third, Steve Millthorpe in fourth, fifth is David Clark.
and Robinson with two to go. The white flag at the ready. One to go. Robinson with heavy traffic ahead of him. Under Perry. He'll work the back straight into turn number three and four. Main straight, your national champion is Mark Robinson. Peter Britton in second. A great duel for third, but Ray Claridge will just hang on. Mighty happy. I saw a green car do this back in 2004, and once again, it's a green car in victory lane, and he is mighty impressed with his efforts, and so he should be. Gio was a gallant run from Britain. It looked like he was just waiting for an opportunity. And it just never came, as Robinson was just supreme tonight. This guy is. Come on, everybody. He's climbing from the cockpit of the car. How about putting your hands together and make some noise for your new national champion, Mark Robinson? It gives me great pleasure to introduce the new Australian V8 Dirt Modified Champion, Mark Robinson from New South Wales. Congratulations. Really heady race out there. When you had to get it done in traffic, you did that. Well done. Yeah, you know, it, uh, we, the car was tight the first probably 10, 10, 12 laps, and uh, I knew the track would go away and, you know, come back to, to the middle of the car. And, and towards the end, we started maybe, you know, fading a little bit, not a lot. So, you know, we had to shove it through there, a couple on the lap, guys, so just to make the pass. So I didn't know where Pete was or how close. I knew he'd be there somewhere, so you know, it's just good to get it through. There's a lot of hype pre-race about Peter Britton and his possible fourth consecutive. He snapped Tim Morse's race record at three uh, for national titles back in the mid-90s and uh, mid-2000s, sorry, and you've done it again here with Peter Britton at three. <laughs> yeah, it's a good feeling, you know, to beat old Morsey up in Brisbane, so you know, I reckon this would beat uh, beat that any day of the week, you know, with to beat someone like Pete, you know, what he's been doing for our class, you know, it's just been amazing, you know, what he's been doing in the States and, you know, to come out and, you know, have a couple of weeks off and then just come here and um, and beat him, sort of, it's real, real good. I'm sure there's a lot of people you'd like to thank for this magnificent result. Yeah, Castro, Castro Edge Racing, uh, new sponsors on board, so go the Green Machine. Uh, Travan Ford in Lismore, McClellan Bullers, Tipper Hire, Ben Daly Signs for a great looking car. You know, KRE Engines for a great Ford um, engine that thing's just been running on song and you know, just just all them guys, the crew, you know, every one of them's just made this possible to, to get us down here this weekend. Congratulations, Mark Robinson, on becoming the 2012 Australian V8 Dirt Modified Champion here at Avalon Raceway. Thank you. Thank you, Gavin White, and good luck to all participating drivers and crew chiefs contesting the 2015 V8 Dirt Modified Australian Championships at our Geelong's own Avalon Raceway, the place for pace.